this tutorial today we are going to focus on the um, layout menu this is part of our series in um, Microsoft um, Office Word if you have not seen um, our other tutorials I'd like you to take the time to check out our other tutorials on um, MS Word today as I said earlier we are going to focus on the layout menu and in the layout menu we we have items like um, the margin the orientation the paper size and um, a lot of things so I like you to join me in this tutorial please I like you to also subscribe to my channel uh, like and share and tell your friends about it if you have any question you can drop it for me in the comment section so when you click on the margin we have um, um, some settings we have the normal margin the normal margin has um, one inch by the left one inch on um, the top one inch by right and under that is a margin the margin is a white part there and then we have um, the moderate margin the moderate margin is um, almost um, a little it has a little a little difference from the normal margin if you have um, a text in your document and um, it spills over to the next page just like this example just a little in the second page and you want everything to fit into the the into one page you can simply use the the narrow margin the narrow margin will shrink um the margins so the narrow margin is um half inch so when you when you click the the narrow um margin you see it will it will reduce the margin and it will make the page to contain more text like in this example after you click the narrow margin you see that there's even more space under because it has shrink the margins by half and allow the other um text from the second page to move up to the first page that is a moderate um, page just slightly smaller than the the normal margin and then we have the the white margin the white margin increases the the left and right margin um, twice that is two inches then we have other settings the next thing is the orientation by default when you open MS Word we have the portrait orientation which is straight and then we have the landscape the landscape is wide that's it's like turning the page 90 degrees so the, the, the portrait is long while the landscape is wide and then we we also have the paper size when you are um, preparing your document you, you will have in mind the paper you want to use the most popular paper is the the A4 and the letter the A4 and the letter we have other sizes we have the A5 which is half of A4 we have the A3 which is times two of the A4 and we have other sizes we have envelope we have folders we have full scalp and so on and so forth so whatever you want to do you have to decide um, the paper you want to use so we also have other settings the next thing we are going to talk about is um, the column by default we have one column in uh, MS Word when you open it like this document is on, on one column now 
we can decide to change it to two columns, three columns, four columns, like in, in, in most newspapers and magazines and um, and bulletins, you have two, three, four, five um, columns. So we are going to convert this one to one column. You select to select you click at the beginning of the text and highlight you can also decide to click from the bottom that is the end of the paragraph and highlight click and drag it to the beginning you click at the end of the um, paragraph and drag it to the beginning then you can select the number of columns that you want in this case we are testing it with um, two columns we can also select um, the second and the third paragraph and change it to three columns. I mean, yeah, as three columns. So you select a paragraph or a group of text and you select the number of columns that you want. We can also select this one, you know, pick other settings. So that you see the way it applies to the text we can also decide to pick more than one or two columns so when you click uh, more columns you can increase it here like in this example i've increased it to four so this is what you get so you can decide to give your text as many columns as you, as you want Now, the next thing is um, um, page break. Page break. When you are working with um, page break, there are times that when you type, you you don't want to get to the end of the page before you move to the second page. So you can decide to type half of the page and then you stop there and you move to a new page. So what you do is you place your cursor where you want to break the page as in where you want to end the page and move to another page so when you when you get there you click and then you click um break it moves your cursor to the next page so that you can continue your typing from there you can decide to put the um the cursor in between a text and move the other text to a new page or you can do it even when you do not have um a text yet the shortcut for this is control enter you hold down your control key and you, you hit the enter key on your keyboard let's see an example here okay you place your cursor you go to the break and, and, and click um page break now it has moved um, the remaining um it has moved the the text under to the new page that's to the next page you can see that's that now we can move to a um, segment type a little text and try to hit the break and see what will happen i stop there and hit the break see even though I type a very little text, once I click the, uh, the break, it will move it to the next page. It doesn't matter if I have a little text or no text. Once you hit the enter button, the break, it will take you to um, a new page. So that's that. Now we have um, columns, and then there are times that when you are when you are typing, you may want to just like what we did in um, page break, 
we can also do something like column break you are typing and you want to stop at a particular point and move the remaining text to the next column you want it to continue in the next column in that case what you do is when you come to your break you click this column here you see when you place your cursor there and click it to move the remaining text from that place to the next column it will continue in the next column we have other settings as well so you take your time and, and try it I'm not going to um, explain everything in this um, um, place I'm going to skip some but you learn by trying so feel free to try um, other um, options and if you have any question you can drop it for me in the comment section and let me know I'm going to move over some of these options and I'll jump straight to the continuous option the continuous option is um, where you have um, a column and uh, you are done with that um, column and you still want to continue on the same page but you want to break away from the column what you do is you click and then you click column because if you do not break away whatever you are typing will still fall within the column so what you do is um you come down and then you you go to break and you click continuous if you reach under the continuous you see it says insert the section break and start the new section on the same page you look at it that what it says so it, it breaks away from that colon so that you can continue something else for instance in this place you can decide to to write a very big heading for the three column under under it so at times when you when you, when you break it like that it, it might not work so what you do is um you can highlight it you can highlight the text and then you change it to one column this is possible because we have um and choose that um, continuous option without that you cannot get this we have other options apart from the break we have the the line numbering you can um you can number the lines the document lines the text line every text have a, a line number just it's just that it is in, invisible so you can decide to bring in the lines you select a particular text or paragraph and then you click line um, numbering it to number the lines this is not common but if you want to you can choose if you want to remove it you click the none we also have the hyphenation you know when you are typing when you have a long text at the end of your page if you do not um, use this hyphenation op option if the text is too small or is too lo long to enter that page MSO will bring it down but if you use the hyphenation it will use the dash it will break the text into two add a dash at the end and then type the remaining one in the second line this is um, very important if you are you are trying to um, make use of all the space that you have you are trying to maybe get as much text on a page as you want next I want to talk about the indent the indent allows you to move your text or paragraph to the right or to the left this function is also found on the keyboard using your tab you can um, highlight the text and use your tab to move it either to the right or to the left 
so you you put your cursor in front of the paragraph and a click indent there is left indent and there is right indent another one is the spacing the spacing before that is on top and then there is um, after that is the text after your paragraph that is the one under that is for the after and then the one on top is the before the next thing I would like to talk about is the the position function the position function has um, to, to do with um, pictures and objects so before I start I like to import um, a picture in the, into the document so that I can use it to explain the position um, function okay this is the um, image I'll resize it you notice that once I, I bring in an image the position uh, function is now active before it wasn't active but now it is active so I can click and choose the position where I want the text to stay I mean sorry where I want the picture to stay we have basically six positions the top left top center top right middle left middle center middle right then we have down left down center and then down or bottom right these are the six um, positions that we have we also have the wrap text function you wrap your text around your pictures you know if you look at um, magazines and newspapers and bulletins you see that most of the times the text is um, wrapped around um, the picture it makes it look neat and um, it makes it also look organized we have different um, different types we have the in, li in line we have the wrap where we just we are behind tags on top of tags and so on and so forth we have the square you know just just play around it and see the one that is okay for you another thing that we have is the the send to back function bring forward send to back bring this function can only work when you have an object on top of another object so I'm going to draw two objects and put one on top of the other so that I can use it to illustrate what this function does so I, cl I click on the square because it is under the circle then I'll now go to send to send forward so that's what it does it was on that before but when you click send forward it takes it to the top now there's another one beside it send it backward which is just the opposite of the other one so you click and you see what it does send forward send backward then we have the position and um, the selection pane which shows you, you if you don't want to select your object directly you can you can use the selection pin to select it you can also use it to hide hiding is different from deleting you hide in case you want to bring it back later you can still bring it back i think that's about all for the layout menu feel free to check it out try some things if you have any question you can contact me you can drop any question in the comment section look forward to hearing from you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel like it and share 
feel free to check my previous tutorials on the home menu file menu insert menu and most um, importantly watch out for my next tutorial on the references menu that will be my next tutorial thank you for watching bye bye